Hi there. Today I'm going to talk about the movie The Boondock Saints. I first saw this uh, on VHS tape in South Africa and I was I was um, really impressed with it firstly but I was uh, surprised I hadn't heard about it and heard about the, the movie and it turned out that when it was released in the cinemas in America it was at the time of um, a high school uh, shooting and um, it, it was taken off um, the screens so uh, but it, it became um, a video and later DVD um, quite a major hit and I, I really enjoyed it and the uh, plot is or the story is uh, two twin brothers of uh, Irish descent uh, living in uh, Boston um, played by Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus, um, the McManus brothers. Uh, they are fun-loving, um, very likeable. Uh, they've always got each other's back, even though they argue a lot. And it's St. Patrick's Night in Boston, and they're out to enjoy themselves. And uh, the fun is interrupted by... Um, some Russian gangsters, real heavies. Anyway, the, the twins uh, batter them senseless and the, the uh, Russians are after their revenge and there's a trail of havoc during which they have an epiphany and uh, decide that their mission in life is to um, st stamp out evil in the form of gangsters who prey on the innocent. It's kind of a religious um, epiphany and it, there's religious iconography throughout the film. So um, a lot of violence ensues uh, against both um, Russian uh, mobsters and also uh, Italian mafia uh, figures. Uh, the real, the guy who steals the show is uh, Willem Dafoe who plays Paul Smecker, uh, an FBI agent. He's uh, idiosyncratic. He uh, absolutely rips the Boston PD detectives uh, in their um, attempts to figure out what's going on. And uh, he, he, his sarcasm's uh, withering, but it, it's a brilliant performance. And um, you know, Willem Dafoe seldom turns in a bad one, but this this one really does stand out. It's it's terrific. Uh, another is um, David Della Rocca, who plays a friend of the twins, but he's also connected to the mob, and he's kind of their their mole. Um, and is played by a chap. He's playing himself, really, David Della Rocca, the, the character's name and the actor's name. Uh, and as far as I know, it was his first acting experience and he's absolutely uh, brilliant in it, uh, terrific. And then um, the guest star is Billy Connolly, who plays kind of the ultimate hitman, who is um, sprung from prison, where he's kept in a kind of a Hannibal Lecter type dungeon. And he um, is, is sent to kill the, the twins. Um, but then there's twists in the story, uh, both on the part of uh, Billy Connolly, uh, Il Duce, as he's called in the film, and also on the part of uh, Paul Smecker, uh, Willem Dafoe's character. I, I can't praise this film enough. Um, if someone had described it to me in South Africa before I watched it, I, I, I wouldn't have got it. I wouldn't have understood it. I probably wouldn't have watched it. But I, I sat down, they put the film on, and um, I was absolutely wrapped in it. Um, just watch it, that's all I can say. It's very widely available. Now, there was a documentary about the making of the film, it came out sometime later, and um, unfortunately, Troy Duffy, who directed and wrote Boondock Saints, um, is revealed to be um, an absolute horror terrible to work with, double deals, backstabs, etc. And um, it was a bit of a shame. There was then a sequel, which I eagerly awaited, um, called 
Boondock Saints 2, All Saints Day, which was terrible. One of the worst films ever. I, I, I didn't even finish it. It is absolutely a disaster. Um, so I wouldn't bother with that. But do yourself a favour. Get hold of Boondock Saints. Uh, I'll put the trailer here and enjoy it. It's uh, very, very funny and uh, very um, unusual film. Uh, and I haven't recommended it to anyone who hasn't enjoyed it.